it's Dr. Oi. I'm Freya. At Dr. Oi, yes? what are we going to see today? What kind of animals? First of all, before we go to see the animals, do you know what I do for our profession? Um, you're a veterinarian or a vet, and you offer treatment to animals. That's right. My obligation is to care and treat the animals. Yes. But, Freya, do you know that animals can also care and provide treatment for humans? Oh, wow. I never knew that. That's right. Have you heard of equine therapy? Oh, equine means horse? Yes. And therapy, do you mean receiving treatment from a Correct. horse? Correct. <laughs> We're here, Freya. Wow, lots of horses. Horses everywhere, Freya, look. Oh, wow. Do you know who are suitable to receive equine therapy treatment? Well, why not find the answers from an expert? Freya, I'd like to, you to meet Dr. Kai. Hi. Hi. This is Hi, Freya. Nice to meet you. Hi. Freya has many questions to yes, ask you. Go ahead. Yes, equine therapy can be used for grown-ups also? Yes, equine therapy can be used with grown-ups. But our treatment is mainly used with children, especially to improve the potential of children with special needs. Does Thailand have a large number of children with special needs? Well, due to the present social changes in Thailand, there is an increasing number of children with special needs. Well, you asked her about children with special needs. Do you know what that means? What are special children? Let's ask Dr. Goy. Could you tell us the definition of children with special needs? Who are they? Well, children with special needs are children that have abilities which are different from other children. And some abilities need to be improved. Uh, well, for example, a person with autism has to learn how to socialize and to communicate with other uh -huh. people because they don't have eye contact uh -huh. with people. When they like to do something, they just keep doing mm. it over and over again. There's repetitive behavior. Another kind is ADHD or attention deficit hyperactivity. Do you know about attention deficit no, disorder? No, I don't. And children with ADHD find it very uh -huh. difficult to adapt. The characteristics of mm. children with ADHD mm. are that they're disorderly and unable to complete their work. Another group involves children with um, a learning disability, or LD. It's not easy to identify these children. That's quite hard to identify. But they cannot differentiate between pictures and letters. And then there are children with Down syndrome. They have uh, flat facial features or upward slanting eyes. And the last group is uh, children who suffer from cerebral palsy. They have difficulty in the control of their voluntary muscles. Do you know why cerebral palsy is associated with muscle problems? Mm, no, I don't know. Because our nervous system controls every muscle. If the brain has a problem, the muscle cannot receive the signal from the nervous system. This leads to poor muscle control and the body functions. That's right. We also see patients who suffer violent convulsions, then, and that would be dangerous for them to go on uh -huh. the horses. So we're very selective. It on, would be dangerous. Yeah. Well, think about it. If they go on the horse and they have too much tension in riding the horse, they can fall off uh -huh. and get hurt. So we have to look after them carefully throughout the treatment. What about the ages? At what age can they start treatment? We start from 5 up to 13 years uh, from old. From ages 5 to 13. Freya, are you curious what horses are suitable for these children? Yes, I want to know. Uh, Dr. Goy, which one do you think is suitable for me? Okay, why don't we go ask the horse doctor? Okay. He knows. Good idea. Freya, let's follow Dr. Goy. They're so 
cute. Dr. Wood, this is Freya. Hi, Dr. Hi, Dr. nice to meet you too. Oh, what is the name of this horse? It's Brownie. Brownie? How old is Brownie? Brownie is 13 years old. Dr. Wood, at what age can horses be used for treatment? We use horses aged from seven years old. Above seven years? Exactly. Because at that age, they are more docile. And how long does equine therapy have been available in Thailand? What about in other countries? Actually, it comes from other countries. Equine therapy was first used in Greece before the times of Jesus. Oh, that's more than 2,000 years ago. Ooh. Yes, but 2,000 years ago, there was no research and theories, but it was used to treat wounded soldiers. Then, in the 1952 Olympics, there was an equestrian, Liz Hartel, who won a gold medal while suffering from polio. Wow! And after that, equine therapy was spread throughout the world. And notice that she still won the gold Excellent. medal from polio. Oh, that means she had polio but still won. Exactly. And then she healed herself by riding horses. Precisely. She was an equestrian before, but later contracted polio. But ah. she was still able to win the gold medal at the Olympics. So the whole world was convinced that horses can be used to treat patients. Exactly. Meanwhile, in Thailand, research started in Chiang Mai University and the military. And it has been developing up to this day. Freya, do you have any questions for Dr. Wood? Uh, Dr. Wood, are horses the only animals that can treat people? What about cows, buffaloes, or dolphins? Actually, we can use other animals too, but horses have a special therapeutic power. For example, the movement of the horse can improve the rider's nervous system and movement, which makes it unique from other animals. Do therapy horses need to be of a certain breed? Can all breeds do it? Any special characteristics? Uh, horse breeds are loosely divided based on general temperament, such as hot bloods. Hot blood means hot tempered? Yes. The hot bloods are quite aggressive. Oh, aggressive. So they are not commonly used in therapy. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. the warm bloods and cold bloods are calmer than hot bloods. And another Ooh. group is based on their height, which includes horses and ponies. Do you know what a pony is? Ponies are smaller, right? Good job! A pony is a small horse that measures a height of less than 14.2 hands. A hand is used to measure the height of a horse. Horses usually measure over 14.2 hands. Um, does riding require a weight limit? I, I'm a big girl. Can it handle my weight? 25 kilos? Yes, I weigh 25 kilos. Um, a small-sized horse can handle more than 40 kilograms. After riding, can we evaluate the progress of the treatment results of the children? After the ride or during the ride of the course? Well, actually, we evaluate patients even before riding. Oh, that begins right away. Yes, and after that, Dr. Wood checks to see if the riders are afraid of the horse or allergic to dust. The riders try riding for about 15 minutes mm -hmm. to get acquainted with the horse, and then we will create a program that suits the particular rider's needs and to focus on what we want them to develop. And then after completing the first half of the course, we evaluate their improvement. Oh, like a midterm exam. Yes, passing midterm tests and then continuing to the oh. final test. Yes. Evaluate the final results. Yes. And then we continue the treatment after a month. I'm wondering, Freya, do you like horses? Yes, I think so. Do you know how to spell horse? Yes. H-O-R-S-E. Do you think you can ride one? Can I just sit on its back like this? You'll also need some equipment. Riding equipment? Several pieces of equipment, ah. actually. First, to protect your head, the rider needs a riding helmet. This is a body protector. Oh, a safety helmet. To protect your backbone. And this is a bribal, a two-colored bribal. Wow, it's so colorful. Right. right. It's cute. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Uh-huh. We use two-colored bribals for children with special needs, so they can easily distinguish left and right by the colors. They can distinguish pink and blue. Exactly. When we tell them to hold pink or blue. Oh. This is a saddle blanket. A saddle blanket. And this is a saddle. It's a saddle. The saddle is a supportive structure for the rider. And these are the safety stirrups. 
for putting your feet in. Aha! Uh -huh. When taking an equine therapy course, how can we find out which program is suitable for the children? Does the course, well, design especially for each child or are ready for special needs? Well, after we finish the final testing, we will focus on skills that need to be improved. You mean no matter what kind of disability the child may have, the program yes. treats uh, every skill that needs to be improved yes. Yes. to suit whatever they want to improve. That's right. Now, Freya will demonstrate equine therapy for all of us to watch and how it is done, starting with the first activity base, which helps improve variety social skills. Okay, so now touch his neck. Touch his neck, okay, then touch its ear. Ah. Can you can touch you his tail? No, he's gonna kick me. No, touch the tail gently. If it has trained before, we can easily touch it. Okay, let's walk it now. One, two, three, tap it. The second and third bases involve language and math skills. All right, now try pronouncing this. Can you hold the reins? Okay, correct. What does it mean? This. Good. All right, two plus five equals? Two plus five equals seven. And five plus two equals? Five plus two equals seven. Five minus two? Five minus two equals three. Good job. The fourth base involves spatial ability, such as estimating distances. All right, try throwing a ball. What color do you want? It doesn't matter. Okay. Here, nice one. One more. Thank you. The fifth base involves restraint skills. This is go, go. and stop. Stop. One, two, three, go. Freya! Oh. oh! Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Go! The sixth base is balancing activity. Right hand on the shoulder, left hand on the shoulder, two hands on the head, on the waist. Stretch your hands out for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Moreover, we can add some fun activities that appeal to the children. Blow! Wow, well done! One, two, three, ho! Oh. Tell me, how was your horse ride today? It was fun, exciting, and a bit scary in the beginning, but now I'm not scared at all. Well, I heard about this place being an equine therapy clinic. Now, how did it start? Well, the clinic started with the cooperation of the Faculty of Veterinary Science at Mahidon University and the National Institute for Child and Family Development. How can we apply for the course treatment? Generally, I'm the one who takes care of all the cases here. You can contact me directly, or walk in, or just make a ah. reservation. There are so many children here, right? Yes, quite busy right now. Mm. Wow. And how much improvement have they made, Dr. Goy? For more than a year since we started doing this, most of them have greatly improved in many different ways, according to their conditions. Well, there was a case, once there was a case with a cerebral palsy that improved enormously. He was 14 years old, but his mental age was about 7 to 8 years old from the basic evaluation. Just two weeks ago, when he finished this program, his cognitive process was much better. He had improved tremendously. For example, his eye-hand coordination was much improved. This was one of our achievements, and we're very proud of it. And what about Dr. Wood? There's a case joining the program today. There's an, an autism case. 
Today, I invite the boy and his mother to share his experiences with us. I will invite them over now, so we can hear now okay. how they yeah. feel about the treatment. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Hi. Hello. Please sit here, right in the center. Hi. Hello, everybody. Um, what happened to him? Oh, the reason for Nikki's condition? Um, well, I've consulted with the doctor, but the exact causes are unknown, still unknown. Usually the condition appears after the child is born. You can't really tell how the child will be when he's in his mother's womb, but you... Um, notice the symptoms after the child is born. And how do you feel about the treatment here? I'm very impressed with all the care from the trainers and assistants. After my son, Nicky, started riding the horses here, I could see improvements in his balancing, in his walking, and also in his mood and his temperament. He is sometimes a bit heavy-handed, but now He's become an animal lover as well. Wow. So that means he's gradually improving. Yes. And how long has Nikki been receiving the treatment? Well, about two months, eight times, since two months ago. I've been bringing him here occasionally, or depending on the trainer, yes. Is he better now? Yes, he's a lot better, especially his concentration. He can pay more attention when we talk to him. And he's still playful like other children. Was he scared of riding the horse for the first time? Yes. Nikki's first time, yes. He was a bit agitated and screamed since it was the first time he saw a real horse. He was frightened and clenched his muscles while touching it. But Dr. Wood helped him to gradually become familiar with the horse until he could ride it. So do you think equine therapy works? Yes, it really does, especially for physical strength, posture, movement, balancing, and interaction with animals. It's like he's been healed by horses, mm -hmm. such as how to sit, straighten his back, and responds to action now. Yeah, he's, 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 he's coordinating with the animal. What about human interaction? Has it improved? Yes, he was slow to respond in the beginning, but it has improved now. So he's now finished the first course. Are you planning for his next course? Yes, we're creating a new course for him. Like gradually improving his skills, little by little, step by step, and so on, right? Correct. Continuing previous skills and adding new skills as well. Would you please say something to our audience about the therapy? Well, equine therapy is a fun activity. It's actually activities with horses and games for kids. We play it together and we do activities together. These activities are all beneficial to them and to us. So it's good both ways. Uh-huh. What about you, Dr. Goy? Is there anything you would like to tell our audience? Well, what I would like to share with all our viewers, just as Nikki's mom has mentioned, equine therapy is alternative medicine for children with special needs. These children usually live in their own private world. Doing these activities will open them up to the outside world. It helps them gain control and concentrate on the activities, and it's much more fun than being in a small, square classroom. Moreover, our university, as you know, Mahidon specializes in many fields of specific sciences, not only offering equine-assisted therapy clinics for children with special needs, but we also welcome interested students from many fields such as medicine, physical therapy, occupational therapy, and other fields to come here and, yes, do join us as volunteers. You know, we cure children and we care for the parents. Finding new experiences Yes, that's the key word. We cure children and we care for the parents. That's our vision. When families are fulfilled, we too become fulfilled, knowing that we have made a difference in their lives. And that is very, very fulfilling. It helps us to become better people and feel better about ourselves. Feels really good. And do you have anything to tell the audience? Um, for parents, who have children with special needs like my Nikki, you should pay great attention to them. Find appropriate activities for them. 
and don't allow them to fade into their own private world. Come and make use of this service here. It is excellent. The coaches are kind, and this place is great. You can benefit from both the coaches and the horses as well. Now you've seen it. How animals can heal humans. Not just humans who can heal them. Yeah, it's not just humans who can heal animals. Animals can heal humans too. A veterinarian can heal the animals, and now they can heal That's us too. That's right. Thank you, Nikki's mother. Thank you. And also you, Dr. Wood, and Dr. Guy too, for this opportunity of showing us how equine therapy works and how helpful it is for our world today. Well, time's up. Thank, Thank you, everybody. You. Explore the world with animals. With animals, speak.